So will you get more money out of your workers' comp case if you get in front of a judge so that you can explain your side of the story? Not really saying take it to trial, but at least get to a judge at a status conference or an MSC and be able to outline the issues. Can you get more money out of the case? Uh, I'd probably say it depends. It depends on what the issues are and it depends on what part of the case you're at. If you're already at the end of the case, you've negotiated uh, stipulations with request for award, you've seen a QME, the QME report is rated out by the DEU, you're settling with STIPS, there's not really much to negotiate. If your frustration is, I want more money out of my case, uh, the judge probably isn't going to be able to help. If you are earlier in the case, or if you are nearing settlement, but you have more specific concerns, this is really the thing. If you're going to go to a judge, you need to be able to outline a dispute that you haven't been able to work out with the insurance company. So let's say early on in the case, the insurance company isn't paying you mileage to go to doctor's appointments. You've sent in requests several times. The insurance adjuster just isn't paying your mileage, not responding to your letters or phone calls either. Getting in front of a judge, that can help. That can help because the judge can issue an order that the adjuster pay mileage. They can usually put fear into the adjuster so that the adjuster will pay what is due, that type of thing. Let's say you are closer to the end of the case. You're trying to negotiate a compromise and release. Insurance adjuster just isn't offering much money to close out your future medical. If you in front, end up in front of a judge and you just say, hey judge, we're trying to negotiate a CNR. They're offering $4,000 to close out future medical. I believe that 20,000 is more fair. I just don't know. They say I'm being unreasonable. The judge may be able to look at it and provide a little bit of insight or maybe twist the arm of the insurance company to get a settlement worked out. The thing is the insurance company or the judge, I should say, isn't going to go to bat for you. They're not going to advocate for you, but the judge does have a duty to determine whether any settlement is adequate or not. So a judge could say early on, if you came to me with a CNR at $20,000 for this case, I likely would have problems with adequacy. That may help get more money out of the insurance company. So if you were earlier on or later on, one thing to keep in mind, you can file a DOR and request a status conference or an MSC. But if you do that and the insurance company hasn't had counsel yet, chances are they will hire an attorney to represent them at the hearing. So you need to be aware. You've been handling your workers' comp case all by yourself, just dealing with the adjuster. You're now likely going to be dealing with a defense attorney who has experience in workers' comp, who's probably been handling workers' compensation cases for a long time, been in front of the judge for a long time, likely has a better idea of what's going to happen. So you just need to be aware, if you don't have an attorney, you file a DOR, the other side is going to have an attorney at that hearing. You may want to consider reaching out to a local attorney to represent you for that dispute, may not need to go to a hearing at all if you hire an attorney. But there's really just a wide variation of issues. If you go in front of a judge, will it get more money out of the case? Potentially, sometimes adjusters just dig in their heels and say, I ain't paying that. I'm not returning your phone calls. I'm tired of dealing with you. Makes you crazy, but getting in front of a judge may put a little bit of fear into the adjuster so that they start paying benefits appropriately. As to negotiating a settlement, a judge is not going to help you negotiate a settlement. A judge really can only address whether a potential settlement is adequate or not, or appears to be adequate or not. So at the end of the case, it may not help as much. What you might be better served by doing is reaching out to the INA officer instead of reaching out to the judge because the INA officer and you can have just an informal conversation without the adjuster on the line and the INA officer may be able to provide a little bit of insight. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button down below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos.